Hello, and welcome to another video from EarnPet.com. I'm Stevie B. Happy to have you all with us today. So let's get this one started right with a couple of really big sips here. Ah, so, some of you may be aware, some of you may not be aware, but <clears throat> I have been running for president for the past five years, ever since I started playing this game. Because since I started playing this game, I realized that there's one really big thing missing from this game. <coughs> we always focus on skills. We focus highly on defense skills and the fact that skills have real cash value. We always focus on the social aspect and talking with friends and making societies. We focus on the money that can be made or the money that can be lost. But one thing that seems to have been lacking that I feel really takes a huge leadership role to really focus on is we have had an extreme deficit of plush in this game for as long as I can remember. Now, some of you may be too young to remember this, but back in the 90s there was this big craze with plush worldwide. They were called T.Y. Beanie Babies. And everybody loved them. And it was like this big fad, and it made a ton of money for a lot of people. And then it just went away. And I do not understand why people's love of plush just went away. Because if you're having a bad day, is there anything that makes you happier on a bad day than plush? I think not. So everybody has always asked me, if you're going to run for president, what's your platform going to be? And forever and always, the answer is pro plushy platform. I have said this over and over again. I am 100% pro plushy platform. We need more plush. So right now, I'm headed to the next island, which is why I'm shooting this video in space. Because for the first time, next island has done a crossover mission chain with Siren that allows you to get a special plush and it is an amazing plush it will go great in my plushy collection however the news gets even better in the same version update that we had just the other day that allowed for this new crossover mission chain between next island and Siren for a special plush the monria slash taloon virtual sense team announced that they are now pro plushy platform as well there have been a ton of new missions added, specifically on Taloon, I believe some are in DSEC 9 and on Monrea also, that allow for all kinds of new plush. Now, the Monrea team was already pro plushy platform, they already had mission chains where you could get various Monrea plushes, but the number of plush that you can now get in-game has absolutely skyrocketed in the past week alone. There are so many new plushies to be added to your collection, and I know it might sound stupid because this is a real cash economy game where everybody focuses on money, money, money. But you can tell I am extremely, extremely excited for plush because it's plush and now plush is everywhere. Finally, after five years of me saying we need pro plushy platform, all of the development teams seem to suddenly be pro plushy platform. Now, I'm usually right on most things. And even when I'm wrong, if you will give me enough time, I will be right. Generally speaking, there was that one time in second grade I was wrong until last year when that guy was submitted for the Nobel Prize and it turns out I was correct the entire time. It just took science and mathematics like 25 years to get there, right? So, yet again, for the past five years I've been saying we need more plush. I have been pro plushy, pro, pro plushy platform the entire way. And now that the development teams are on board, finally, yet again, I'm proven right. They felt there was a drastic need for plush. Now, do I think there's other things in game that need to be worked on? Yes. Do I think there's other areas that the development teams could focus some of that creative energy and really help make the game better? Yes. But I think being pro plushy platform is a very solid start to this. So I'm super, super excited. So what you guys cannot see that I'm doing offline or off screen is I'm going to go to one of the best websites there is when it comes to Entropia, and that is nihelper.com. nihelper.com is ran by Kat, so big, big shout out to Kat. She is always so good to try and get as much information on nihelper.com as quickly as humanly possible after a version update. So, I'm going to read directly from nihelper.com. Again, big thanks to Kat. I will need to take more time to go over the details as there's a lot to cover in this version update as well as changes to certain mission rewards throughout the site. Let's start with the next island, very first crossover mission. You, mission you can start on either next island or Siren. Now, personally, I'm going to be starting on next island. I have heard that some people started on Siren and were awarded double plush. However, I think that has been fixed, so now there's only one plush no matter where you start. So I'm going to be starting on next island. I'm just going to walk through it the way she says it here. 
On Next Island, speak to Liz near Combat Outpost. There's a waypoint. You can find that on Next Island, uh, helper doc, or, I'm sorry, nihelper.com. So first you talk to NPC Liz near Combat Outpost. On Cyrene, if you were starting there, you would want to talk to Lieutenant Harris at the Supply Depot. Liz will ask you to look for clues in the tent. If you really want to, you can interact with all the objects in the tent in the next tent over, but really what you need to do is find a odd box outside the tent. And there's a waypoint for the box outside the tent. This will give you a note that you must take over to Cyrene. On Cyrene, you will be given two missions, one of which is the Cyrene starter for the crossover. The other is the Next Island Continued Quest. I did both, but the Continued Quest is called Stolen Secrets. Reward a Knight's First Deed, Felt Plush, by Sir D.B. Kensington. So, I know that seems a little bit confusing. I'm even a little bit confused. This will give you a note that you must take over to Cyrene. Okay, so you go to Cyrene. On Cyrene, you will be given two missions. Okay. One of which is Cyrene's starter for the crossover. Okay, so the point where it... Okay, so if you're starting on Cyrene, then that mission would be the starting point. For you to do this all in reverse i'm guessing the other is the next island quest continued so when you get there it's, it's almost like there's a bug in it like it will give you the ability to continue the one that you start on next island which is what you want to do or it would give you the sirens version of starting this mission so it could be almost like done in reverse i did both but the continued quest so the one you're going to want to focus on if you start on next island is called stolen secrets cool so, she also has other information on here about other things that have been added in the newest version update, but that's the part about the crossover mission that we're going to go do right now for the plush. And the plush is awesome. I won't give it away what the plush looks like, but I will say it is so good that when I first saw it, I didn't even realize it was a plush. I thought it was a like either visual trick or somehow somebody got something to do something that I'd never seen before. So, I won't give away what the plush is. I will let that be a surprise for you guys, and I'll show off my plush in a new video later this week. However, if you really want to see it, Bonnie did post a picture to one of the Facebook groups earlier this week when the mission very first came out. While I'm on here, I am going to head over to the Virtual Sense forum. I know you guys can't see that either. And I am going to see if I can get you guys a little bit more information about their pro plushie platform information. If I can find it real quick. Okay, here we go. Version update 22.4. Did anyone say plushie? And there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Looks like 17 new plush. That is so much pro plushie platforming. Okay, so on their version update, Christmas gifts 2022 receive a small token receive a small gift as a token of our appreciation. Speak to Thana on Taloon. Speak to Valeria on DSEC 9. So, if you want to grab the Christmas gifts for 2022, you can head over to both Taloon and DSEC 9. Speak to Thana on Taloon, Valeria on DSEC 9. I'm going to knock both of those out today because, obviously, Merry Mayhem is coming up and I've got to get back to Calypso. Uh, in fact, I need to check. Let's see. I should have hit Monria first. Yeah, I'm going to go Next Island, Taloon, Cyrene, Monria Cali. That's how I'm going to do it. That's probably not the most... I should have just made a clockwise circle. I should have started with Monria and then hit Taloon. It, that would have been a little bit faster, but I'm already on my way to Next Island. So be sure to get your Christmas gifts there. Also, if you're a depositor or if you have deeds... I've been told that when you land on Cyrene, you will get a Christmas gift on Cyrene right now also. I won't tell you what it is. I will save that and let that be a surprise. I know it's for depositors, so if you made any kind of a deposit in-game in the past year, I've also been told it's for people who own deeds or shares. doesn't necessarily matter what type of deed or share, so I'm told, but I can't verify that. Um, Festive Quest 2022, Planet Taloon, DSEC 9. Collect Christmas crackers while hunting non-instance mobs during the month of December and hand in for a festive reward. So obviously, if you're doing Merry Mayhem on Planet Calypso, you're probably not going to be able to do this. 
Again, speak to Thana on Saloon, Valeria on DSEC 9. So the festive quest and the gifts for 2022 may be related. I'm not sure. I will find out and probably record that for a different video also. Essentially, when I land on Taloon and DSEC 9, the question is, do they just give me a gift when I talk to these NPCs? Or do I have to get a mission, collect the crackers during uh, December, and then hand those in? I don't know. Um, let's see here, let's skip down, skip down, skip down, skip down, because we want to get to plush. Okay, lots of plush, here we go. Mo Ma Cat Jelly Baby Collection. Hunt Ma Cats and complete your Ma Cat Jelly Baby Collection. Speak to Narjan or Xdia for more information, so you'll need to talk to those two NPCs. You can find this on virtualsense.eu slash forum. It's going to be under the version update thread, and you're looking for version update 22.4. Did anyone say plushy? In case you want to figure out where these NPCs are, the Quafaz plushy. You have to hunt Quafaz and earn a plushy. Speak to Zadia for more information. Same as above. Sunjok plushy. Again, hunt Sunjok, earn Sunjok plushy. Speak to Zadia. Tab Tab plushy. Hunt Tab Tab for Tab Tab plushy. Speak to Zadia. All, all of these look like Zadia. The first one for Jelly Baby was Narjan, Nardran, or Zadia. But all the rest seem to be Zadia. Thwar plushy, you hunt Thwar. Zadia again. Walsh plushy, you hunt Wahesh. Again, Zadia. Bahari plushy, again, hunt Bahari. Zadia. Kabri, Dahar, Duhul, and Kafash. So, and all those are Zadia. So, all of them are Zadia. So, you speak to Zadia for all of these new plushy missions. The only exception being the Mawcat Jelly Baby Collection, which is Zadia or Nardran. So you can get them all from Zadia. The Mawcat Jelly Baby Collection, you can also speak to Nardran. And then you just go, and as you hunt, same like with the Monria setup, where you would hunt stuff on Monria to get the Monria plushies, now you can get all of these Taloon plushies. So, so much plush. So let's count them. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10... And then the Jelly Baby Collection, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, so it looks like 7 Jelly Babies, so it looks like 16 or 17 plush total. That is so much plush. They've also done some other stuff with this version update, I will leave that for you guys to actually read the version update notes. But needless to say, everybody has suddenly got Pro Plushy Platform. So I am so excited because that gives us an opportunity for so much more plush. This is something that if you're going to be on Taloon and you're going to be going through a lot of those missions anyway, hunting a lot of those mobs anyway, and you're going to be working on your codex there anyway, why not get some plush to go with it, right? And some of these plush, I would assume, are going to be kind of rare. I would assume that not a lot of players are going to do each and every one of these missions because there's a plush. Like, that's not enough of a reason to do a lot of these missions. There's some mobs that you just don't necessarily really want to hunt. They don't really have a loot mix that you would want to hunt. They really don't seem fun to hunt. There, there's some things in game that are just fun to do, and there's some things in game that are just mind-numbingly boring that you don't want to do, right? So there's some creatures that everybody finds fun to hunt. There's some creatures that some people just absolutely despise hunting. And I'm sure there's going to be a few on that list. I don't see every Uber in game running to Taloon just to collect all the plush. So, I do think that for those of us who find the plush aspect of the game to be kind of something near and dear to our hearts that just has a special place, I do think Pro Plushy Platform, for those of us who are Pro Plushy Platform, is a great thing. I think there's a lot of people looking at these version updates going, yeah, cool, you get a plush as a reward, who cares? But I've always been Pro Plushy Platform just because on a bad day, sometimes you just need to squeeze your Argonaut cuddly toy for comfort, right? Sometimes you just need to pull out your smuggler plush when you're having a bad day. That's why I keep them in my storage. That's why I keep them around my apartment. So I'll be heading over to Next Island. I'm going to knock out the crossover mission chain between Next Island and Cyrene. Get my special plush there. I'll be showing that off in a video probably in a couple hours. And then I'm going to head over to Monria and Tulum. See if I can just get the Christmas gifts there. Because I'm not going to be back. This year, they're starting Merry Mayhem way early. Merry Mayhem usually starts like around December 10th and goes to about January 10th. This year they're starting Merry Mayhem on November 30th and it's going all the way to January 10th. So that's going to be an extremely long Mayhem. It actually screws up my plans. I had planned to take off work right after Mayhem started and my co-worker is actually taking off like right now. He's off the next two weeks 
and I'm going to cover for him, and he was going to cover for me. Well, now, while he's off work, I'm going to be doing Merry Mayhem. <laughs> so, that's going to be kind of problematic. Also, this is the longest mayhem of the year, so it's going to be the most expensive mayhem of the year just because you need more weapons. You have to rent your gear if you're doing a rental service for a longer period of time. It's just a lot to deal with. Because of that, I will not be dealing with anything else in-game pretty much from November 30th until January 10th. I'm going to be in mayhem the entire time, running the instance the entire time, as many hours a day as I can because I'm spending a lot of money to rent this gear, I spend a lot of money to do mayhem, so therefore I've got to dedicate all my in-game time to mayhem. That said, I'm going to try and pump out content for you guys where I can, when I can. I might have to be in the mayhem instance, not really doing anything other than just regular mayhem stuff while talking about a different aspect of the game. Somebody just asked me earlier today, they said, hey, we haven't seen any new videos lately, is everything cool? I was like, yeah, you got to remember, Halloween mayhem just ended like two weeks ago. So for two straight weeks, I was dealing with Halloween Mayhem, and I tried to get a couple of videos up while I was doing that. After that, I was just trying to recover from the toll Halloween Mayhem took on me, because it was a huge toll. And then in doing that, I thought, okay, I'm going to get a little bit of a rest before Merry Mayhem. Well, then what did they do? They come out with Mini Mayhem for Thanksgiving, so I had to deal with that. And then, obviously, I had the Thanksgiving holiday work, all the real-life stuff, which, again, has not been great. And then, on top of that, I find out they're starting Merry Mayhem way early. So, it's been a lot just trying to prepare for everything back to back to back to back. In fact, Messi made a joke on the forum the other day. He was like, if we keep doing events this way, we can just have events year-round. Next thing you know, uh, Halloween Mayhem will start in February. And so, it's kind of a joke because right now, there are people that are saying it's very possible the 20th anniversary event may start directly after Merry Mayhem ends. Like, Merry Mayhem ends January 10th. People are saying that it's very possible the 20th anniversary event may start in late January, early February, may run until like April. As soon as it ends, you might have Easter Mayhem that begins. Easter Mayhem runs for two weeks, stops, and then you might have Migration start directly after that, all the way until Migration ends, and then right back to Halloween, and then we're repeating the cycle. So it's kind of a running thing at the moment that everybody's joking about, that the events may just go back to back to back to back to back. Because of that, depending on if you do events and what events you do, sometimes you don't have a lot of time in between and obviously you can't do other stuff while you're doing the event and the events do take a lot out of you it does take a toll on you when you go to work eight and a half hours a day you try and sleep you try and deal with real life and then you also try and be sitting in front of a computer getting a kill in every five to six seconds non-stop for 10 hours a day i need 48 hours in a day and it just doesn't happen there's only 24 hours in a day no matter how you slice it up so short of being able to just never sleep and be able to function at optimal which isn't possible it's a toll. So that being said, I will be trying to pump out as much content for you guys as I can over the next 60 days. I'm not sure what exactly that's going to look like. Like I said, a lot of it might have to be while I'm in the Mayhem instances themselves, but I will try to stay abreast of everything and keep you guys updated too. So that being said, I'm going to leave it there for today. Sip, sip, smack, smack. Y'all know the rest. And I cannot thank all the development team enough just for being pro plushy platform. It's about time. And I know it's not like the hugest reward. It might not be the most profitable monetarily. But again, not everything is about money. Sometimes you just got to have fun. Sometimes you just got to kick it with your friends and your homies in game. Sometimes you just got to focus on the fact that it is a game. It's designed to do more than be all about the real cash economy aspect 24 hours a day. The game does have more dynamic to it than just being a cash economy game. So that being said, I've been Stevie B for earnpad.com. Be sure and hit that bell icon so you're notified of all of our videos that we post. Hit that subscribe button because every subscriber means a great, great deal to us. And be sure and hit the like button because there's always a hater waiting to hit the dislike button the moment we upload. Head over to earnpad.com because when you earn, we earn, that is by far the best way you guys can help support us. We were not the first nor only place online where you can earn pads. So when you choose earnpad.com, it really, truly means a lot that you're helping to support us. And we hope to see everybody's new plush very, very soon. I don't know who the first person will be to complete the entire Taloon plushie collection, but I'm very excited to see all the new plush that's coming about. So we'll leave it there for today, and we will be back with more content for you guys later this week. Take care, guys.